I want to just talk a little bit about a little sciencey stuff, and that is the nervous system, and particularly the sympathetic nervous system and the parasympathetic nervous system. Because that's sort of like the foot on the brakes, foot on the accelerator, foot on the brakes, foot on the accelerator. So let me give you a little background. This isn't going to be too intense, but it is who we are. We know we have a central nervous system called the central nervous system. It's our brain and our spinal column, spinal cord. That is uh, all the information that comes from the brain, goes out, connects with nerve cells to the spinal cord, and then into what's called the peripheral nervous system. And that's everything else. That's our organs and muscles and senses, everything outside the central nervous system. And that's the peripheral nervous system. And then that peripheral nervous system, the rest of the body, is divided into two. One is called the somatic nervous system, which is the brain sending information out to the body, and the autonomic nervous system. What it does is sends information out, and then it comes back in. So it's voluntary. You burn, you feel something on your hand, so the sense it comes and sends a message is, ouch, hot, and then you pull your hand away. That's muscle. So one is senses, and the other is muscle. Somatic. <laughs> That's where we're sending information, consciously sending information out, and information is coming back to the central nervous system in the brain. But... What's relevant here for us is the autonomic nervous system. The autonomic nervous system is involuntary, and that is the nervous system that controls breath, heart, internal organs and glands, and outside of the realm of voluntary control. That's what that is. And so now we're getting to the point. The sympathetic nervous system, this is what I wanted to get to. The sympathetic nervous system is our fight or flight. And that is the, we're being chased by a tiger in old days. And the parasympathetic nervous system is the rest and digest. And the problem with the modern world or modern life is the sympathetic nervous system, fight or flight, is out of control. There's no balance. And when we have the Sympathetic nervous system going, it increases our heart rate, it stops digestion. That's why when you're really stressed, you can't digest food. It inhibits salivation. On the other hand, the parasympathetic nervous system, that's the chill, that's the rest and digest, that slows your heart rate, that stimulates digestion, that allows you to digest food, to poop, to pee. The other sympathetic stops that. And the reason why we're meditating and the reason why we exercise and the reason why we eat well and the reason why we do the good things that we do is to maintain balance between the sympathetic, fight or flight, and the parasympathetic, rest and digest. That's the key to everything. That's the balance in life. It took me four minutes of talking to get to this point. <laughs> that it's all about the balance, fast and slow. And it's in that balance that allows our mind to think more clearly. We can make good decisions, have good judgment. We can digest our food, all those things. And so we can look at healthy living and the stuff that we do, the exercise and everything, is just to keep both sides, again, sympathetic. I don't know why they call it sympathetic because it wrong connotation. Sympathetic, fight or flight, mobilize. We need that. We need to have that. We need to be able to charge forward when we need to, but not out of control. And the parasympathetic, slow down, take it easy. And we need that, but not all the time, because then we can just sink into this sort of like stupor. It's all about balance. It's all about balance. Sympathetic nervous system, parasympathetic nervous system, part of your autonomic nervous system, which is part of the peripheral nervous system, which is connected and communicates with your central nervous system. I have a, a word of the day and a quote. This is a South African word, Ubuntu, Ubuntu, which means literally humanity. 
It's the belief that we are all defined by our compassion and humanity towards others. Ubuntu. And this quote from Archbishop Desmond Tutu. God's dream is that you and I and all of us will realize that we are family, that we are made for togetherness, for goodness, and for compassion. Have a good day of togetherness. Onward, upward, inward, as they say. Thank you all for joining, and we will connect soon.